Uh, my name is Anthony Bounds, here for uh, after mentioned as 20 Bounds, I guess. We are about to do an experiment called the Loop of Death. Here we have a loop-to-loop uh, -loop comprised of two flattened, on this edge, uh, conduits. And uh, let me grab the battery right there, or else it's going to fall. All right. And, um, this was something that we sort of picked up from the U of M. Uh, it had fallen into disrepair and we decided to restore it thanks to the uh, wonderful help of everyone at uh, St. Benil. Um, this, uh, this loop will take, uh, will take a bowling ball. Ah, I have it right here. Come here. It's going to take a bowling ball up a large ramp down these uh, rails right here. And uh, it's going to enter here, and hopefully it's going to whip up enough velocity where it will just ride around. Now, you notice this thing is very big. It's about 5 foot 6 in diameter, and uh, that's big enough to fit a physics student inside, which we will be doing very soon. And I happen to be that physics student. Behind me, behind the camera there, is Dr. John Variano. I sort of organized this whole depth trap thing. And uh, Harsh Shroff, who helped out with a lot of the details. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I guess when the tape resumes, we'll be out of the quad. Amen. Oh my God, you're cool. Go! You're on television! Come on! One, two, three! Psychology major. Oh. I'm uh, studying the psychology of risk taking behavior. <laughs> Alright, hang on. Wait, wait. Okay, whenever you're ready. Oh, God. Who's going to sit in there? Oh, yeah, we need someone, don't we? Okay. Danielle, you want to get a helmet? Danielle, don't die. Alright. Get on me, though. Yeah, yeah, let me get it from a different angle. I'm ready. So we cheated death. Again. Awesome. By the way, this is my girlfriend. <laughs> Andrew, you want to try this? Just put on the hell again the loop. <laughs> you're tall, so you're gonna have to squish down a lot. Let's try this from another angle.
what now? Fell on your head. Right. Ready? Oh, the basketball. Yeah, I fell on my head in the test runs, but we fixed that. Yeah, during the test runs, uh, the basketball that we used to test did fall on my head like two out of three times, but I was still feeling pretty confident. Yeah, let's get everyone who was involved. Let's see. John Variano. Am I allowed to be in? Yes, Trey helped out while it was being constructed in St. Benilde. Yay. Uh, Harsh, I believe, is president of SPS. Ted Clark, a new professor at CBU. And Ozzy, who has helped out during Science Olympiad. And I think that's everyone around here who helped. Harsh, come on down. I like how we're not even using the helmets anymore. No, this is, this, this is repeatable, man. This is going to work every time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Until someone dies. One. Then we'll be like, that Two. never happened. Three. Woo. Woo. All the lovely people in the buck. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for, John Variano to test his trust of physics. Right. Feeling good? One, two, three, go! <laughs> <laughs> and he's good! Woo! That's all concern. No concern. Plus the physics. Energy <laughs> conservation. And that's why you had your hands on your stomach? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That right. works really well. Yeah. Really. We it is it. amazing how much loss there is. How much goes into the angular momentum of yeah, the ball? Because you know, if the perfect world, no losses. Oh, that thing would be. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, well, yeah. If we didn't put the grip tape on it, though. I don't think it would work. Yeah. What? Actually. There's grip tape on that ball so that it doesn't slip. If it slips, it loses energy. If it loses energy, we have a dead physics student. This is just some of the lovely stuff that we do it here at CBU. So you should totally come to this college and be a student here and stuff. Head injury. Ah, yeah, you get head injury here a lot.